Last night, we told you about a deal United Illuminating reached with the state to give customers a break on their electric bills until at least 2023. When I talked with the Attorney General, William Tong, about that plan, I asked him if a deal with Eversource was in the works of the largest provider in the state, and he said the ball is now in their court. Look, Eversource has my phone number, and if they're ready to get real and to um, do what's right for ratepayers, avoid a major rate increase, stop paying their executives uh, millions of dollars and admit that they weren't there for us and they failed us in Tropical Storm Isaias and they owe us for the damage that they caused. Now, this is where it gets interesting. We followed up today and asked Eversource if they're working on a similar deal. They sent us a statement reading in part, quote, we also filed a proposal on March 1 in our pending case before Pura that includes different options to reduce the impact to customers and help to manage bills. It's important to know we have a number of proposals before regulators and we're committed to our discussions with them so we can do what's in the best interest of our customers. Now, we looked up Eversource's proposal and it has two options, both of which involve rate increases, not decreases. The first is a single rate increase of 8.2% coming up on May 1st. The other is a two-phase increase taking effect in May and October. We followed up with Eversource a second time, and we're told this time that they're offering options to spread costs over time.